Well, hello and welcome back. I'm Kieran Seaman. This is my Inky World. And <laughs> we're here to do some more Inky drawings. Are you willing to do some Inky drawings? Get that pen, get that brush, get whatever you need. And let's just dig in and do some drawing. Um, I've been extremely busy recently. But I think it's a good time to fire some some ink and get something going been doing lots of books lots of lots and lots of too many things but it's been all exciting lots of plans going on here for the finishing off of the worry lips books lots of drawings behind me and it's almost there so hang on it's going to be a classic i'm sure of it i feel it so if you're ready let's do some drawing <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. I've had a lot of requests for birds, and I don't know quite what's the big buzz at the moment with birds. But um, let's try a bird. Let's get into it. Let's try and let's try and just put down a couple of little marks because I'm, I'm kind of a. Uh, yeah, maybe I could do a couple, maybe. All right, that'll do. All right. Now, the best way to start these drawings and always the best way of getting some kind of excitement is by letting the kind of ink do its own talking. And that is just exactly what I needed. And I just feel that there needs to be more there. already looks like a bird doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it get you excited already i've got a huge hair hanging from my hat right so let's get in there and um let's get in there and get some birds now i have been very 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 busy with a lot of different things at the moment And it has been rather exhausting. Lots of different ideas coming up, lots of different projects, lots of different twists and turns. And I must say it's really quite exciting. It really is starting to get very, very, very exciting. Um, which is what it should do for all artists, you know. There's some fantastic artists out there. Um, and they all need a lot more kind of support and and love, really. I sit and watch so many videos of so many great people. And I really don't feel like they get half the support they really, really deserve. I'm going to get in there with... I've got this idea for a seagull because I know that seagulls have kind of got this kind of demented kind of twist about them at the moment. And, you know, there's lots of stuff online about seagulls kind of coming down and eating your chips or eating other birds and really crazy stuff going on with them. So I'm going to kind of get in there and draw a crazy, crazy seagull. And don't forget all the books. Come on, you! I need some some people up there buying some books. Lots of the Worry Lips book, the Inky Sketchbook is still up there. Get out there and buy yourself a book. That's what I mean about supporting these these artists, supporting people like me too. You know, there's a lot of great artists out there. Go and spend some of your hard-earned cash on us. Now, I used to work in an animation, so a lot of my my kind of dream time was always about animation, and I always kind of had that 
that childish dream about making my own animation. And I, I, I had my own studio for a very long time. And as with all of those things, they, they die for 90% is financial reasons. You know, it's like trying to, to do something that, that costs money, you know, like getting books made costs money. You know, making cartoons costs money. Doing illustrations costs ink, costs paper. All this stuff. And to keep these artists kind of ticking along and keeping them surviving needs support. And that's really where it all kind of starts to crumble, you know. If there's any amazing agents out there, contact me. Let's get a let's get a, a dialogue going. You know, I don't have an agent for the simple reason that um, agents have kind of got a very bad rep over the years, and it's kind of put me off dealing with a lot of them. But I would be interested to have a, a dialogue. I have so much work. I have so many books and such like. And I would like to get them seen. I'd like to get it out there. This is my love, but you know, I need to, I need to get things seen. There's lots of possibilities with my work and over the years, I've talked to many people about making movies together and doing this together, but it all kind of comes down to that crunch of money, sadly. I kind of feel like I've got a few illustration things coming in, but I feel like I needed his leg or something, you know. I really feel like the idea of his. I think they have kind of webbed feet, don't they? I'm um, seagulls. So let's get on and do some kind of evil webbed foot. You know, I want to be one of those type of people that are, are drawing and and making animated films and stuff like that when I'm like 600 years old, you know. That's my kind of dream. I don't want this to be um, something that fades away. I want this to be something that takes me to a new level of life, you know. I want to illustrate books and I want to write books and I want to make films and I want to do everything, you know? Because it excites me. 99% of all of this, it excites me so much. But, you know, the problem with our modern world is that everybody wants to be rich. <laughs> everybody wants to be the one who makes the big bucks. Um, I don't. I want to survive. Survive and enjoy the pleasures of, of life. I kind of feel like that leg needs to come up there. Is there any of the magical juice? Oh, it sounds wet. Let's get in there and just put a big blob there.
and doing stuff like this excites me so much I can't explain I cannot even get into the words of how much this excites me doing these type of doing these type of illustrations excites me so so much and I have two little dogs here today. I'm, I'm babysitting a dog today. I have got little Luna, who is a little black griffin. Belgium griffin or something like that. So Mr. Mira has somebody to, to play with and jump around with today. See, I got this idea of it, almost like the seagull coming down to steal somebody's food. So maybe I'll put a bit of food in there that he's grabbing hold of. Because it's very popular in the south of England here. Down in Brighton and places like that where seagulls just fly in and steal people's food. That's got such a nice feeling. It's like he's, he's so de de demented as he's coming in there. He's kind of coming in and he's like, you know, I don't want that food. Anyway, I'm going to get, what are we going to get? Let's get some chips in there. And I, I, I watch a lot of other artists. I, I love to keep up with what people are doing. Um, it's Chris Jones. Hi, Chris. Um, he's over there making some, some great uh, videos as well. There's lots of great people that I watch. And it's just, an, it's inspirational, you know, to watch people that are in, so in love with. Um, Chris does a lot of color stuff that's really, really cool. Um, and again, it's kind of like people like, like these type of artists need more support. You know, there's so much of... Um, People kind of coming in for viewings. I mean, the, the, um, you know, it's the same with Chris. He gets a lot of people watching. And there's a lot of greatness about the, the whole kind of YouTube system of, of people coming in and watching all this entertainment for free while all these artists struggle, you know. And it's it's beautiful that that there's this kind of platform for people now. But at the same time, unless you're kind of getting millions and millions and millions of views, YouTube doesn't really support anything, you know. It's, it's really, really a hard cut for a lot of people. There's all the, the chips as he's coming down for it. And I, I do kind of feel like, like even with myself, you know, I, I kind of thought that this whole... This whole thing of being on YouTube, for example, I did think that it would be something more kind of lucrative. I thought the fact of you coming in and 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 doing these kind of videos of half an hour or sometimes longer, you know, sometimes it got to like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And it's all, it takes up a lot of time to do. It takes up a lot of energy to do. It takes up a lot of... You know, it is very kind of draining almost. And then you're kind of handing it over and giving it all away for free, which is cool. You know, that's cool. But somewhere, something, you know, those, you know, like I, I kind of found that I've got like 20,000 people come to watch me. 20,000 people. What does 20,000 people look like? You know? If you saw 20,000 people in like a stadium or something, that would like blow your mind. So 20,000 people watching me draw. Now, if 20,000 people went out and bought my book, <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be doing these videos with a huge smile on my face. But it's not like that. People come in and... and 
this whole kind of modern society is everything is free you know you go and you know for a lot of people they they go and watch a lot of videos and then they don't even put down a they don't even give you a like they don't even give you a, a thumbs up they don't even you know <laughs> he's got a crazy look on his face hasn't he I like that. Some kind of crazy seagull coming down there. I almost kind of feel like there needs to be another one up there. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm running out of space, I know. But bear with me. Because I just kind of feel like... Oh, that's lovely. It's just... Crazy-eyed seagull, and he's looking down, seeing what's going on. He's got some food, and he's thinking, no, "I could have some of that." Let's get that in there. But I love my followers. I truly, truly, truly love the people that that come in to watch me every every time and the views get bigger and bigger and bigger and that's just that's just heart touching you know it makes you feel so so good to think so many hundreds of people have watched or thousands of people have watched your your videos it's just it's just incredible see if I can get away with I have to put that down now haven't I let's see if we can get away with doing some some nice big juicy color underneath that can I oh it's too dark isn't it? Just trying to put in some some definition there because a seagull's white, so I'm trying to kind of get that feeling of him bursting through there, you know, with the color. So there's the inky sketchbook out at the moment. There is a Worry Lips book of all his daily thoughts. There will be a Worry Lips novel. When I finish doing the illustrations at the moment, I'm working on the illustrations. Do you want to have a sneak peek? Sneak peek of... There's Norman and the spiders. Look at that. Whoa, sneak peek, sneak peek. Oh, it's so exciting. And I'm getting into that at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. I've got a commission for some kind of Florida University to do at the moment also. So it's kind of keeping me busy. But it's the books. We need to move the books. We need to get some sales coming in. And the sales from the books come straight into support me. They they come into to 
to drive forward this exciting channel that's up here at the moment and I'm loving this channel I'm loving every single day of this channel I'm loving meeting all these these people love meeting all these people that are writing to me and telling me about their life and it's just absolutely beautiful I mean it's just beautiful I've met so many fantastic people and it's just, you know, it's the great thing about things like YouTube and that it opens up this whole world, which is just the most gorgeous idea. The whole idea of YouTube, I think is just phenomenal, you know, it's like if you want to learn to do anything, you go on YouTube, you know, how to fix your fridge, how to fix your washing machine, how to draw a seagull <laughs> and there's all the chips down there at the bottom and that's got such a nice feeling to it it gives me the feeling of kind of being on Brighton Beach and everything's kind of happening down there just drag that down use your finger if you Get in there and do a few more little details on there. I kind of like the idea of these. And for the people that have bought my book and bought my prints and everything else, I love every one of you. The, the prints in the shop, if there's anything that you do want, if there's anything that you want me to draw up, please Send me a message and we'll get something going. That's really nice, isn't it? I'm going to put my name on the bottom of the chips here. And this has been a fabulous time. In fact, I enjoyed this so much. I might even just go straight in and do another one. That's how much I enjoy doing these drawings. Right now, I've got to go around and draw. I'm gonna, I might have to just dampen down some of the edges, otherwise, when I put my border on, my framing on, it might just bleed into it. So I might just pad some of that down to kind of give me a base. Otherwise, all the all the, the framing will basically bleed into the drawing. And we don't want that, do we? No, we don't. But what we do want is we want this to be beautifully framed up. Oh, started to bleed there. Let's get a... I thought that would happen. Caught it. Oh, let's just pull it up. Sneaked it past there. just put a little dab on there at the top just so that it doesn't bleed any more than what it has at the moment but it's giving it a lovely edge let's just dry up some of that let's check anything else that's bleeding nope we are good to go and that is today's drawing this naughty little seagull that's come down to get your chips and there's the chips down the bottom there and he just swooped in to get it and i love that it's got such a nice energy about it. So, let me know what you thought. That's today's drawing. And I want some comments. What did you feel? Did you feel the energy? Did it make you want to go and draw? If it did, that's the whole point of these videos. 
is to excite you to get drawing and get moving with your pen and paint and everything all right so that is today's drawing thank you for being here thank you for coming go and buy one of the little worry lips book or an inky sketchbook or something go and treat yourself i let you <laughs> now have a beautiful day and i'll see you here again tomorrow